Hello, Electro Jeweler Jordan here, and today we are going to be mixing a nickel plating solution. We will be following along on this checklist because it's easy and you can download it on my website for free. You'll need the following items to complete your nickel electroplating solution. Not optional, safety equipment. All right, lay out your gear, heat up that water, and don your best safety equipment. Let's go. Number four, we have about 400 ml of hot water. Keep it in the 60 to 70 C or 100 to 140 Fahrenheit range. Number five, now add the full amount of Lustro Electro Nickel Mix or your own recipe. And stir. It's easier to start out with a stirring rod. Remember, you want the finished volume to be one liter, so add the nickel electroplating mix to 400 ml water, mix a bit, and then add more water. You can top it up to about 900 ml. Keep on stirring until it's mostly dissolved and switch to your magnetic stirrer or continue stirring by hand until it's fully dissolved. This will take about 10 to 15 minutes. Now that the nickel mix looks mostly dissolved, I'll top it up to about 950 ml and we'll keep it there until after we add the sulfuric acid. At this point, you will also add the brightener if needed. This particular mix has the brightener already added, so no need. Super bright! Now put it back in your magnetic stirrer for another 10 minutes or so. If not, you can let it sit for a bit and then stir everything until it is totally, completely dissolved. If you don't have a magnetic stirrer, I'll add a link on how to make your own, just like this one. It's been spinning for about 10 minutes on the magnetic stirrer. You see it went from an opaque green color to a very crystal clear emerald green color. And the next thing that we are going to do is check the pH. Now it looks like the pH is at 5. And what we want is the pH to be between 3.5 and 4. Generally, when I start to mix this up, I start at 3.5 so that when it drifts up to 4, I can bring it back down to 3. Through regular use, some of the acid will be used up and you'll have to replenish it every so often. Um, sometimes the plating will start to get dull even though it has a brightener. It's not that the brightener is low, it's that you need to replenish the acid. So if it starts to get dull, the first thing I would do is check the pH. And if it's above 4.5, and then you're just going to want to add some sulfuric acid in there. And you should bring that pH back down to about 3.5, and you should have shiny results again. Is we're going to add some sulfuric acid. I already have it measured out. The volume of acid that you add to this nickel plating solution depends on either the percentage or concentration of the acid that you have. In order to bring the pH down to 3.5, you will need to add about 3 grams of sulfuric acid per liter. To determine the quantity of acid in milliliters required, you can refer to the chart that will convert grams of acid to ml based on the concentration of acid that you if have. If you're in the U.S. and you're using car battery acid at 37%, you'll need 8 milliliters. So there is a big range in volume, but the actual amount of acid will be the same at 3 grams of sulfuric acid per liter. And I have that pre-measured out right here. And we're going to put that in. And I'm just going to let it uh, mix with the magnetic stirrer for about 10 or 15 minutes. And then after 10 or 15 minutes, we're going to check the pH again and see if we're spot on or we have to add a little more sulfuric acid. I'm testing the pH again and it's spot on at 3.5. If you don't get the pH right the first time, just follow the chart and repeat steps 11 and 12 until you have it right. It's necessary to wait about 20 to 30 minutes between each pH adjustment to get an accurate reading and allow the acid to fully integrate into the nickel electroplating solution. When your pH is adjusted, filter your solution through two coffee filters, then heat it up and get ready to test it out in our next video.